Yeah, my client isn't here yet. Yeah, they're, they're about 15 minutes late. Hi. Hi, how are you? So, welcome. Have a seat anywhere that you like. I wanted you to know that I did look over your intake and I have a few questions. So go ahead and get comfortable and we'll get started. Well, aren't you as cute as a little lemon on a summer morning? Just want to squeeze you. <laughs> Okay, so first my name is Michelle and I'm looking at your intake and I just want to make sure that I understand that you really did not want to attend therapy. Sweetheart, before we even get started, I just want you to know, because I don't want you to worry, I just want you to know that I don't really believe in therapy, but I am here. You were told that it was an ultimatum that you had to come to therapy and if you didn't come to therapy that your daughter and your husband were going to kind of break away from you and distance from you. Is that correct? So I have a husband and I have a daughter and they are just both horrid. Now I think that you could have been a little confused about the intake and we'll talk about that in a second. However, so my husband and my daughter are always against me. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, no matter where I am, they just have something to say about my behavior. It also says that two of your ex-boyfriends want you to come to therapy. So do you mean in the past they wanted you to come to therapy or is this something that's happening right now? I'm just a little confused about that. Did my husband pick you out online? Because I think you're kind of his style. So I'm thinking that he just wants me here so that I get a little envious. But you know what, honey? I think I'm a little younger than you, so I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Understood. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm picking up on some kind of energy or something. Okay. Let's talk about your relationship. So in your marriage, you're saying that you have your husband but you still talk to two of your ex-boyfriends. Is that what I'm hearing? First of all, I want you to know that these are not my boyfriends. These are not my boyfriends at all. These are my ex-boyfriends and they just love me. They had such a hard time getting over me. So I've always stayed in contact with them. I don't believe that we should just close that chapter. I think that we should continue to nurture those relationships. Don't you think that having healthy relationships is the smart thing to do? I mean, you a therapist and all. However, it sounds like your husband feels like, according to what you wrote here, that your husband feels like uh, you might be flirting with them. I don't know why my husband thinks I'm so flirty. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, it gets exhausting at my house watching my husband clean and cook and hearing my, hearing daughter, my daughter with her, with her incessant, incessant music, music playing. playing. So I just sometimes have to get out, you know, kind of a girl's night out. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, except there's boys at the girl's night out mm -hmm. when there's no other girls at the girl's night out. Mm -hmm. It's just me and the boys. Mm -hmm. Me and one boy. Mm -hmm. Me and my ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. who I kiss sometimes. Well, it's not really cheating. It was just a little kiss. It's just like a little dew drop on a petal. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so kissing tends to be seen as intimacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From, from what you wrote, it sounded like he wanted you to come into therapy because he had some conflict around some of your behaviors and some of your behaviors with men. Do you want to see how flexible I am? And you're telling me that you feel that he's cheating. So what are the reasons that you think that he is cheating? Jealous, jealous, ugly jealousy, ugly jealousy. Okay. My current husband has gained some weight and I feel no affections towards him whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Now my ex-boyfriend, the one that I go out with girls night out where there's no other girls and it's just me and him and it's just him and I together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that one, he is as fine as a tall glass of sarsaparilla. Let's talk about your daughter. Let's just switch topics here a little bit. <sighs> let's breathe. So let's just talk about your daughter right now. Now, your daughter sounds like an incredibly, uh, incredibly talented and accomplished 
harpist. And you know, kudos to you for raising such an incredible young woman. So tell me more about why you feel that there might be a conflict with your daughter. Yes, my daughter is a musician. Now she is a musician in that she has learned music. And she is a musician as she has put in many hours of practice. And she is a musician as in people like to hear her play her harp. However, I am naturally talented. Anything that she has, she does have from mm -hmm. me, but I have it naturally. I don't need to take lessons. People often remark that I sound a lot like Barbara Streisand or Adele. No, I, I can't sing. No, I can't. I can't. I won't. I won't sing. I won't do it. Bravo, bravo. Okay, now let's just whew, bring it back. Let's just bring it back. Just next, next. I don't want to talk about this. Some people just carry around a microphone. I totally get it. Totally get how that can happen. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I, I know I'm probably bringing up the elephant in the room here, but I thought you had an accent when you came in. You sounded very Southern. No, you know what? I think you're just jealous and I did not come in here with a Southern accent. No. So you're not so. So that wasn't an accent no. that I heard. There wasn't no, a southern draw. No, no. Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. I do declare. Yeah. What are you Taking writing? Note. That? Taking note. What are you writing? <laughs> so I need to write this down. Oh no, no, no. It's not bad. It's not bad. I just need to write it down. <gasps> Tell me about that. Your hair. Is is that gray? Yeah, I actually do have some gray hair. Mm-hmm. <gasps> You've got to be about the same age as me, right? Like in your 20s? Oh, well, 20s, 50s, who cares? Age is just a number. It's how you feel. But wow, aren't you just a brave little soldier with that gray hair? Yeah, I don't really, I don't really feel brave. I just feel like this is who I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you feel insecure because you have that gray hair or do you just feel like you've given up? No, 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 no. I don't want you to think that because I'm going gray that I'm having a self-esteem issue. I just feel comfortable in having gray hair. I can see how you might think that I'm very brave. Yes, it's very, it's very brave <laughs> being me. <laughs> yeah, okay. And don't let anyone tell you you're not. You know what? I don't want to talk about my daughter because you know what? I'm just, mm -hmm. just really sick of looking at her. Mm-hmm. Look what she did to me! Okay, yeah. Let's sing hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Feeling like you're sort of on a lower spiritual level, probably because of the work that you do or maybe that gray hair. And I think if we sang, we would be raising you up together on the same spiritual level. No, actually you can't. I just wish they weren't so jealous of me. This is definitely your sacred space, so I want you to feel comfortable in bringing up anything that you want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No, you gotta stop singing, please. I, I think you have a great voice, but we don't have the time right now. Hey, no, I wasn't late. You were late to the session, but it's not a big deal. We still have time but I'm saying that we don't have a lot of time because you were late to the session. No, 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 no. I wasn't mm -hmm. late. I wasn't late. No, no, it wasn't because I was late. No, I was right on time. I have an internal clock. This is my office. I was here. You were late. Now, do you go to therapy too? I'm not the one with the problem. They're the ones with the problem. Yeah, you know what? Your, your session's about almost over. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. Okay, so make another appointment and we'll catch up soon. Pet my eyebrows and tell me everything is gonna be okay. Here's some extra nuggets I just didn't feel like editing in. I don't even know why people even go and listen to my daughter play the classical harp. I mean, so what that she was on a couple of late night shows? I mean, so what? I just can't understand why everyone is so like after me all of the time. Crying over you, crying over you. Don't let me go. I don't even understand why I'm the one here. I don't even get why I'm the one here. I don't really like therapy. I don't, I had a great childhood. No, I had a perfect childhood. Yeah, everything was great. Why, do you feel like you had a bad childhood? I think you're really asking me these questions because you had the bad childhood. Is that what's happening here? Oh my gosh, I'm, you know what? I'm glad I'm here 
because I feel like me being here is allowing you to ask questions to help you through whatever it is that you are going through. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't really see what, you know, I would probably make another appointment to help you, but I, this is like a huge waste of my time. And I'm glad we have all this time. I'm glad you gave me the extra 20 minutes that you messed up. I have to pay for the 20 minutes that I wasn't here. What? Oh, that's no, 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 no. Oh, that's crazy. I'm totally, I'm totally going to go on Yelp. Can I see your notebook? Can I see your notebook? <gasps> Can I see your notebook? Can I see the notes that you're writing on me? What are those notes that you're writing on me? Can I see that notebook? I want to see the notebook, please. Oh, come on, please, please, please. I just want to see the notebook really quickly. No, 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 like right now, right now. Just give me the whole notebook, the whole notebook. Are you seriously not going to give me that notebook? They're my notes. They're notes about me. I want to see the notebook. <laughs> Whatever. So did you choose the colors in this room because you liked them or because you were depressed? I just can't understand why everyone is jealous of me. Did you hire someone to do this room? No, this was you. Oh, this was you? Oh, so this was you. All right, you know what? I'm about done here. <laughs>